Hi guys, this is Ruben. I'm the project steward of Firo and it's been a while since I last made a video. Uh, you know, Spline Apple is doing an awesome job uh, with, you know, doing the Firo Frontier that gives uh, updates in, uh, kind of like, you know, five minute uh, videos. But I thought, uh, you know, I'll give a little bit of more detail, especially on the development side, as to what's been happening. I guess the one of the number one uh, things that people have been asking about is PropPal, which is a new proof of work algorithm that's uh, a lot more lightweight than MTP, FPGA, and ASIC resistant, and it's been audited and proven. So it, re it really works, and it is a really awesome uh, proof of work algorithm that focuses on graphics cards. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we did uh, encounter a hiccup where the external developer that we in initially engaged uh, didn't deliver the prop power up to spec, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, especially we have been really explicit. Uh, but no worries, we have actually engaged uh, a new developer, and his name is uh, Andrea uh, Lanfrancini. I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And he's actually one of the co-authors of PropPal. So, you know, uh, if he can't code it, I don't think anyone can. He is. We are in much better hands now, and we are looking forward to uh, a 0.9.4 PropPal implementation soon. Uh, we do hope to get this on testnet maybe in the next month or so, uh, but you know, we aren't in any uh, hurry. Uh, but we are definitely, it's one of our near term goals, uh, especially when we want to see uh, if we can you know, bring down the rate of our blockchain growth and definitely PropPal uh, would really help with that. So, you know, you don't have to worry so much because there are a lot of PropPal miners out there. Uh, you know, we wouldn't have to wait for like you know custom support. Uh, it's going to be a lot more lightweight on um, existing pools, so we do expect you know pools to easily upgrade. So we think this is a very positive uh, movement into ensuring that you know we still get good distribution of our, our coin into the mining public, uh, especially GPU miners and also to keep our blockchain uh, lightweight and scalable uh, which MTP didn't quite provide. So I hope that's uh, enough updates on PropPal. And the other thing that we've been really working on in the past few weeks has been reactivating the Lantus. As you, as you have seen, I think probably about a week ago, we reactivated the Lantus. Uh, we you know caught certain things that were not uh, initially found in the audit. Uh, but you know everything's been resolved and we've actually taken additional steps to harden the Lantus. It's not been easy and been really diving into it uh, but you know especially uh, you know with the help of our research team with uh, Levon, with Peter, uh, Aram and you know Aaron who has been really uh, who just joined us recently uh, and we've been really uh, looking looking really deeply into both the coding and the cryptography and so far uh, we think we've done all the the steps that we need uh, we are not going to be rushing into the landers version 2 we are reworking to make sure that the paper is you know uh, as as perfect as we can make it to be so there are no oversights uh, and but definitely you know the Lantus version 2 is a priority but we're not uh, rushing to it we're going to make sure that our Lantus version 1 is in a good state and it does look uh, so far to be the case we are seeing a much increase uh, you know activity with the Lantus transactions so you know if anyone's watching this please do download our core wallet uh, make sure to anonymize the Lantus uh, as much as you can and we'll be also having an event uh, quite soon to incentivize people to anonymize their funds so stay tuned for that. Another thing that we've been really looking into are sort of um, decentralized exchange integration and uh, previously, you know, of course, like we we were looking at REN, right, which is like uh, the REN network, and the uh, the possibility of having REN Firo. Now, for some reason, uh, the REN team has uh, has kind of missed uh, certain deadlines uh, in regards to us. You know, they um, and we they said that maybe in summer they would integrate us, but we are not. 
we're not going to kind of um, hold our breath on that and wait for them uh, but instead we are now looking at uh, two other alternatives uh, seriously one which is tall chain uh, which is has big benefits over REN because uh, people can swap in its native form that means there's no need to wrap it in like BP20 or ERC20 there's no need for custody so it's almost like you know um, swaps of uh, coins in its native format so that is really really uh, important to us another thing that we've been actually looking at is Atomic Dex which was actually uh, coded by the guys at Komodo it's a separate uh, thing and it doesn't require Komodo to run it's totally open source and uh, Firo is actually already integrated with Atomic Dex and um, it's I, I gave it a go I think some of you also possibly participated in their stress test and it's actually very promising so it's quite surprising that it hasn't uh, hasn't seen the publicity that we think it deserves so we're looking very hard into uh, whether Atomic Dax is the right solution to us because first of all we already integrated it maybe we just need to like you know port it and make sure that it works within our wallet and now we have a Dax for Firo directly with uh, uh, you know directly within our wallet so it's all usable compared to a Torchain integration which requires quite a bit of work um, I did speak to, to Kai, I did speak to the Torchain uh, team uh, they are keen to onboard us but it is an easy, uh, not, not so straightforward it requires quite a lot of integration work so why not both you know we, we, we at the same time we don't want to split our liquidity over too many DEXs uh, atomic that seems to be like you know promising so <clears throat> while we are still looking at the torchain integration perhaps the the Komodo atomic dex might be a, a more near-term solution that would actually work for us so you know i appreciate everyone's thoughts um you know i do recommend giving atomic stacks a try uh you know i'll probably put a bit more liquidity there so everyone can play around with it but it'd be very uh, interesting to see which is the best solution right there the other thing that we have been actually uh, starting to work on is instant send and you know because we have our master nodes you know we have chain locks so that means uh, you know we are able to have instant transactions that are confirmed in a matter of seconds and that, that we think would be a real first because it would mean we would be I guess the first private truly private cryptocurrency that has uh, almost instant confirmations which I think is really big uh, and of course uh, I think that's a great usability boost uh, once we integrate it so we're starting work on that the other thing that we've been also uh, looking at is the Elysium tokenization layer uh, we have made really good progress on it we've updated it with the latest lattice changes and it seems to be working we're deploying on testnet relatively soon so we'll keep you guys posted uh, you know and you know hopefully we'll get uh, some people you know building their own tokens or even like election uh, small little elections right on Furious blockchain using the Lantus technology it'd be really good to see a, a stable coin being built on the Elysium layer so another thing that we've been also thinking about is you know to what extent do we want uh, more DeFi integrations we've seen I guess decent take on the sushi uh, you know we would actually like to see more it's actually giving a, a pretty good return uh, and there's also we've also launched uh, uh, a farm with value DeFi uh, on the BSC network and we're being mindful because these integrations do uh, a lot of the time they're not for free right uh, we have to provide uh, liquidity incentives meaning that we have to pay uh, people in Firo which is definitely you know a, a drain on our resources we, I currently see as a bit of like a marketing expense to you know be able to um, how to say reach out to new communities especially those in the DeFi space uh, but at the end of the day we have to make sure that this is something that will last on and not just for the farming incentives right uh, 
uh, and I know some people have been asking like why aren't you on this uh, you know automated market maker why aren't, aren't you on this DEX now uh, we can always create any sort of pair with any DEX but of course we need to you know put our liquidity there and if you want some sort of uh, farming or liquidity incentives uh, those figures can be quite substantial like for example uh, I wouldn't name names but one of the major AMMs if you want to be like a recognized liquidity firm you have to come up with like a six figure USD amount and that they will match as well uh, I'm not sure whether we are seeing the type of interest that would warrant such an expense given that it is a significant amount of money that could be spent on expanding our team, expanding our research and stuff like that, or even improving our UI. Now, another thing that people have been asking about is the mobile wallet. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm putting this as a very high priority, uh, especially now that the Lantus version 1 is uh, coming down. You know, we've got everything down and, uh, you know, we are working hard on, on building uh, our own native uh, uh, mobile wallet so you know we've heard you uh, we have three three developers working on it and hopefully maybe we might want to accelerate it further but uh, we'll see how that goes we're also working on a reskin of our electron wallet uh, to kind of make it more snazzy it's already pretty good and I think the beta has been out uh, we're probably releasing a, a new beta in next one or two days and, and everyone can give it a go uh, we think that's um, a huge step in, in improving usability of it but we still think that you know we could look it make it look a lot more sharp and because we believe that you know user experience is really important so I hope this kind of covers like you know all the stuff that we've been working on we're really working on cutting-edge privacy technology especially on the research side we've been looking at the Lantus optimizations uh, I think uh, Aaron has come up with like some range proof optimizations Aram has been working on a light wallet design where you can sync without you know downloading the entire blockchain with pretty high uh, you know without like you know without relying on centralized services so uh, all of the usability issues um, that you know people are facing now we are coming up with very cool solutions uh, up for them so I hope that gives you uh, an overview of what we've been doing on the development side uh, you know we have also started on the kind of like outreach community outreach side we are starting a Vero volunteer like team where people who want to help with outreach can do so and earn some small amounts of Firo. you know it's not gonna like you know it's not gonna be like a full-time job but I think it'll be a nice way to kind of reward people that are passionate you know they have been promoting and talking about Firo. Um, and it's a nice way to earn some side income uh, so if you are passionate about Firo and you would like to help uh, contribute and get the word out about how cool our Firo is and our technology I would really really appreciate that you know uh, that makes it a more community effort and you know we want to make sure that um, we stand on our own benefits there's no need for misleading so always be honest if you're part of the volunteer community we definitely do not want to disparage other projects or uh, say untruth so we would ha we hold ourselves to a very high <laughs> I guess like moral standard so um, if you would like to see more of this let me know in the comments um, you know probably I would have more armor sessions uh, you know and maybe in telegram where people can just pop in and ask questions that's a great way but if you have anything, you know, I'll be looking at the comments, so don't hesitate to ask. So this is uh, Ruben signing out. Thank you very much.